Okay, here we have the architect scale. This is imperial units. This is the most common scale for architectural drawings. And this is the scale that we will be using throughout the course of the uh, program. You can see that the architect scale has different sides and it's got actually different scales on the same edge. In this example we can see there's a quarter inch scale reading from right to left and an eighth inch scale reading from left to right. As you rotate the scale you can see that there are different variations, some more useful than others. For our purposes, we will be spending most of the time using the 3 16 scale, and that's on this edge. On this edge, you'll notice that the 3 16 scale also is together with the 3 32nd scale. The reason they do that is because the 3 32nd scale divides equally into the 3 16 scale so that the spacing of all the numbers is the same. Now you'll notice that the 3 16 scale reads from right to left, so it's important that you understand that when using the 3 16 scale, you must always start at the zero and you're going to read then zero, two, four, six, and so on. So that is from right to left. So here we're going to have a closer look at the 3 16 scale. You can see that to the right of the zero are smaller increments. The space between the zero and the first large line is equal to one foot in real life. The individual increments to the right of the zero are equal to one inch in real life. And therefore you will notice that there are 12 separate increments so that each increment is one inch and so it adds up to 12 inches. And we use this incremental scale to measure our lines exactly. 